bilge water. Monsters are real. When I was a girl, my mother was murdered by a low-life coward named Gangplank. He shot me and left me for dead. There was no trial. In Bilgewater, he was the law. I hunted him. I killed his men. I watched Gangplank die, washed away on the burning tide. But there are still monsters about. For centuries, the Buru people have protected these islands from the worst of them. But even they fear the heroines. Attacks in the form of a lethal black mist, courtesy of our unliving neighbors on the Shadow Isles. Each time, the heroines return stronger, while the Buru grow distant. How long can we rely on prayers and magic? My monsters are flesh and blood. They don't frighten me. Only one thing does. Becoming one of them. Quiet from up here. If only. Good morning, Captain. Your guest has arrived. Raffin, remember when we could just take what we wanted, go where we wanted? We didn't have a care in the world. Now look at us taking appointments, attempting diplomacy. Well, at least our line of diplomacy still involves guns. That may be true, but when he was Reaver King, Gangplank only used guns. If I unite the gangs with violence, will the city still think of me as a savior? Gangplank was a tyrant, Sarah. You're tough, but you aren't cruel. I'm proud to be your first mate, and the rest of the crew is proud to call you our captain. The gangs will follow you. It's only a matter of time. They can't follow me if they're dead. Hopefully I can change their minds before they're all wiped out. Some dogs won't obey until you show them the stick. Well then, let's not keep Captain Thorne waiting any longer. got the bullets in my chest. Killing Gangplank wasn't enough, Raven. But you beat him. You're still breathing. 
and he's in little pieces all over the bottom of the ocean. Those bullets are just little reminders. I wish they didn't remind me so damn much. You've been doing some remodeling. What can I say? The place needed a woman's touch. I don't think the previous owner would mind. Guess not. Seeing as how you gunned him down. Along with the rest of the conclave. Are you here to parlay, Captain Thorne, or to criticize my sense of decor? I trust you've considered my offer. Offer? <laughs> Hand over my operations to you. My fleet and all of my men, or else... Huh. Misfortune. You may have killed Gangplank, stolen his fancy mana, but that don't make you my queen. From where I'm standing, it looks like Bilgewater is still up for grabs. Now give it up, girl. You know, I'd hate to ruin that pretty face. So much for diplomacy. You know, Raffin, I think I'm starting to enjoy it.
I'll consider this your formal surrender. The Syndicate will never follow you. You hear me, tyrant? I'll die first. I see. How about you boys? Does your captain speak for you all? Well then, Captain Thorne. I'd say this meeting is adjourned. The rest of you, welcome to my crew. Prove yourselves loyal and you'll be rewarded. Betray me, or even whisper the name Gangplank, and I'll stuff you in a box with your former captain. Understood? Yes, Captain. Another successful recruitment. Minus a few stubborn holdouts, the Syndicate's with us now. Their ships, their guns... But none of their leaders. Not yet. Even if I have to put a bullet in every captain from the shipyards to the slaughter docks, I will make them understand. Bilgewater belongs to Sarah Fortune.
me. Save your strength. I thought we beat those things in Grey Harbor. Could it be... another harrowing? I don't know. But if it is, they're going to need help. We're going to need Alawi. Brothers and sisters, a new enemy has risen in Bilgewater. The goddess Nagakaboros has shown him to me. Reveal him to us, truth bearer. This Blood Harbor Ripper butchers men in their homes and in the streets. I can sense the fear, the stagnation he brings. We honor the Mother Serpent by restoring motion and driving him out. Praise the goddess. Truth bearer. I wish to fight for you. I am ready. Are you? If you fight with everything you have, the Mother Serpent may name you worthy. If not, she will take your life. I surrender to her will. Unworthy. He is strong, Priestess. He may live. Perhaps, if the Goddess wills it. Come, our enemy awaits. These streets are full of emotion. Nagakaboros smiles upon us. Why do you embrace these foreigners, priestess? The Pelangi do not respect the goddess or Buru tradition. They make their own way. They fight to live, walk among them, learn from them, maybe even have some fun. They have many interesting desires. <laughs> Sister, I have seen you indulge in their taverns. Do not be ashamed. Next time, I will join you. Now let us follow the rhythms of the street. Here, the men inside spoke recently of the killer we seek. We will wait outside. No need to get Pelangi stink on us. <laughs> More for me, then. Langi stink. <laughs> Why must my people be so stubborn? Little man, tell me, where can I find the Blood Harbor Ripper? Who's asking? 
I am Elawi, truth bearer of Naga Kabobos, champion of the Buru. <laughs> sure, lady. And I'm the River King, Tom Kench. Buzz off, trying to relax. Perhaps a display of strength will change your mind. Sorry. I try not to get into fights with strange women in bars. So, you're unwell, or just afraid. You see this sword? I've run it through hundreds of men, most bigger than you. So how about you go on home? Hmm. I thought you would be strong. I have no fear. all you have. I was just starting to enjoy myself. The Blood Harbor Keeper. No one I know has actually seen him. They say he ain't alive. Not alive. He is skim like a corpse. Cold. A creature trapped between life and death. He, uh, has a thing for captains. Thank you, little man. Hey, you, uh, want to stay a while? <laughs> My new Peilangi friends simply wish to learn Burhu tradition. Let us search the warrens nearby. of the bull gives wisdom. It costs teeth and blood.
they will learn or they will die. They will learn, or they will die. <laughs> Told you this was gonna be quick. of a sea slug. Oh! 
Please! Please, don't! So afraid, so alone. But soon, Captain, you'll be crossed off my list. And you won't feel a thing ever again. What list? I've never seen you before in my life! I'm not even a captain anymore! I haven't sailed in years! Please! Abomination. Face the Kraken Priestess if you dare. Hmm. Killing you would be fun. Oh. Meaningless. No. Forsaken one, do you think I am offering you a choice? They will learn, or they will die. Not everyone is dreadful. Now face the test of the Mother Serpent. You will not survive her judgment. I... What did you do to me? This cannot be. You are found worthy. But you are a monster! Goddess, what are you trying to show me? The Shadow Isles. Hang Plank. A great test. Better. Goddess, help me understand. Priestess, are you hurt? How did the drowned one escape us? The goddess favored him. I do not understand. But you must. You are the truth better. The mother serpent's will flows through you. Perhaps you need rest. I need no such thing. Return to the village. I will join you soon. Truth bearer. Welcome. Elder. I seek guidance. Speak, child. Tell me what troubles you. I sought to purge Bilgewater of a great threat. An enemy whose shadow spreads fear and stagnation in the streets. Yes, such is your charge. 
and you do it well. But this Blood Harbor Ripper, I tested him, and the goddess found him worthy. Curious indeed. It makes no sense. He is no living man, and the unliving are shameful to our goddess. How could he possibly pass her test? I have worked so hard to interpret her will, but this seems wrong. I should not doubt the goddess, but now I worry I have lost my way. My child, the Mother Serpent's will flows through all things. Only when we follow our desire does the universe flow towards destiny. Open yourself up to all possibilities and let the path present itself. But have I misjudged her will? If this monster is worthy, have I been wrong about others? If I gave the goddess's blessing to those who did not deserve it, that would be blasphemy. Perhaps I should renounce my position as truth-bearer. Ilawi, I will not entertain such nonsense. I have taught you the ways of Nagakaburo since you were a child. You are strong and the goddess's will flows through you. Trust your judgment. But what if I'm wrong? The vision I saw, the black mist consuming everything. Something terrible is coming, and I cannot afford uncertainty. The goddess sent me a vision, but I still need more. I need her guidance. Only the goddess knows what destiny awaits. It is not my place to instruct you. You must find your own path. The stakes for Bilgewater are too high. I need to be certain in my course of action, yet I have so many questions. Then ask them. It is in seeking these answers that you alone find truth where others cannot. But we must also find patience. Truth bearer. Elder, I... Yes. Patience. I will reflect on what has passed, and hope a path presents itself. Priestess! Hori! There's something you must see. That is quite a man. This is Ilawi. She's our champion. Our truth bearer. It is an honor to meet you. I am Brom of the Freljord. The Freljord? You've traveled far. My men say they pulled you from the water. They showed me great kindness. Walk with me. I am curious to hear more of your story. A great sickness has come to the Freljord. It has claimed the lives of many children. It's really you? Yes. And look, I have brought a friend. Now, be brave. I take good care of him until I return. Huh? I will. Rest now. Brom will find a cure for this. You have my word. Brom, you promised the impossible. Your heart is pure. The sickness is spreading. For Brom, nothing is impossible. The Freljord is my home. These people are my family. Tell me, what must I do? When I was a boy, my father spoke of a place called the Blessed Isles. There, they possessed water, which was said to cure any illness. But Brom, 
That place was destroyed by the Black Mist. Shadow Isles, they call it now. Dangerous, even for you. Who knows if that water even exists? Sometimes a story is just a story. Grog will return with this blessed water. Then, think of the stories they will tell, eh? <laughs> fought the Black Mist. Are you sure? Yes, and I will happily do so again. Uh, once I find a bigger boat. In the battle with the Mist, my shield was lost. It is very valuable to me. I will do whatever I must to recover it. Malawi, we come with a message from Captain Fortune. We ain't looking for a fight. Well, what is the message? She requests an audience. She says... Well, she says the Black Mist has returned. What? The Black Mist? It has returned! Thank you, Bram. She'll be expecting you. Come with us. I know the way. My friend, it seems fate has brought us together. This is not your fight. As Truthbearer, it is my sworn duty to push back the mist. Yet, your arrival here is no coincidence. This much I know. Perhaps it is the sign I was looking for. By helping you face the mist, I may learn more of the cure I seek, and repay your people's kindness. Your desire is strong. I will not stop you. Let us see what Sarah Fortune knows. 